Now in this part of the question then we're asked to solve 1 plus tan theta or multiply by 5 sine theta minus 2 equals 0. For theta greater than or equal to minus 180 but less than 180. So how do we do this? Well first of all what I notice is that this is factorized and it equals 0. So there's no need to expand this. All we can do is just say that either this factor or this factor equals zero. Alright, so just say therefore 1 plus tan theta equals zero or the other factor 5 sine theta minus 2 equals zero. And what's this going to lead to? Well, in this equation, if we were to subtract 1 from both sides, we'd be left with tan theta equals minus 1. And for this other equation, if we were to add 2 to both sides, we'd have 5 sine theta equals 2. And then divide by 5, we'd have sine theta equals 2 fifths. Now what we'll do is we'll deal with each equation separately. So let's start with this equation. So we'll just say when tan theta equals minus 1. Now what I would always do for something like this is the quadrant method. I mean you could draw the graph of tan theta and solve it from that but I always prefer the quadrant method. So I'm going to just quickly run through this. If you've got problems with this just go on my website look under the quadrant method and you should see lots of tutorials on this. Now we've got naught degrees here and we've got tan is negative. Tan is negative in the second quadrant, this one here, and the fourth quadrant, this one here. So in the usual way, draw a line inclined to the horizontal here, mark an angle. Draw another line equally inclined to the horizontal in the fourth quadrant. So effectively, you've got a straight line. Now we need to put on the diagram the angles theta that we want. Now we want between minus 180 to 180. So we start from here and if we turn to the first blue line in this direction this is a possible theta. Okay. Remember 0, 90, 180, 270, 360 going around this way. If I started from here and went all the way around to this blue line I would have gone more than 180 degrees. I'd have gone out of range. So we don't have that one round there but if I start from here I can turn in the negative sense to the, this blue line here. Turning this way is a negative angle and it's less than minus 180. So this is another possible value of theta. If I was to start from here and turn all the way around to here I'd be turning more than minus 180 degrees so I don't want that solution. So these are the only two solutions that we need. So if I get on the calculator now and work out what theta is by doing the inverse tan of minus 1 you'll find that your calculator and make sure by the way that you're in degrees mode very easy at this level to have it in the wrong mode like radians make sure you're in degrees mode inverse tan minus 1 and you should find that on the screen you get minus 45 degrees and that corresponds to a turn in the clockwise direction and it corresponds to this green theta here so that's telling us that this little angle in here is of size 45 degrees and that means that this one over here must be the same 45 degrees so the red one becomes 180 degrees as you can see if you turned all the way to there minus 45 so 180 minus 45 is 135 degrees so that gives us the two exact values for theta when tan theta equals minus 1 now we need to look at this equation so we'll start that one when sine theta equals 2 fifths 
The sine is a positive value, 2 fifths is positive, and again I'd want to do this by the quadrant rule. So I draw my quadrant diagram again in the usual way, put 0 degrees here, remember this would be 90, 180, 270, 360. So where is sine positive? Well it's in the first quadrant, this one here, and the second one. So draw two lines equally inclined to the horizontal, mark these angles in as the same. Always do that. Mark in the angles theta that you want. So starting from here we turn to the first blue line which is to here and that is an angle less than 180 degrees so it's in range. If I start from here now and turn to this blue line I'm still going to be turning less than 180 degrees and that's in this range so we'll mark that one on. Okay. It's no good turning in this direction to this blue line because this would be minus 90, that would be minus 180 and that would be more than minus 180. Okay, So out of range. So these are the only two angles that we require now. So to get theta, inverse sine both sides, so we therefore have theta equals the inverse sine of two fifths. And again, as I say, make sure you're in degrees mode. You should find that when you do this, theta turns out to be 23.578 and so on degrees. So that angle in here, this little blue angle, is 23.578, which corresponds to the red theta. So if this blue angle is 23.578, so too is this one. So to get the green one, all I need to do is 180 minus 23.578. And if you do that, you'll end up with 156.421 and so on degrees. So therefore, if we round these two angles up to say one decimal place, we're going to have 23. 0.6 degrees and 156.4 degrees and if we just say both to one decimal place then we've got the solutions to our equation. We've got theta equals minus 45, 135, 23.6 and 156.4 where these ones are both to one dp. Okay so that brings us now to the end of the first part of this question.